so far, a life of freedom had been rough, almost rougher than rebirth. But even so, it was freedom. We chose which way we walked. We no longer toiled on the stone. Yet, we still had wounds. Park continued to surprise me. He has a ferocity, a fierceness. I always knew. I knew the Sheik were tough, but he's something else. He stood up on multiple times against more numbers than, well, I could handle. Then there's the old man, Hobbs. He's got a few screws loose, but he knows a thing or two. Knows this world better than the two of us. I don't know about the swamp. The place made me feel unsettled, like I was always being watched. Out here, amongst all of this, it's more of what I'm used to. Once the old man is up, and I've had a chance to rest myself, we'd have to hit the road again. We were further now from the Holy Nation, but they were still out there. The hub had fallen to them, and that was just the star. There'd be others. Right now, it felt like we were ahead of them. And that's somewhere I wanted to stay. Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Kenshi. We're back here with our gang, Sam, Park, and Hobbs. Now, Park is still resting up in our little camp bed that we purchased, our little sleeping bag, slowly recovering. Hobbs is recovering up here as well in a very expensive bed. Not super happy with how expensive that bed is, but you know, what can you do? Now, Park is in a little bit of a better condition than sand, just when it comes to moving around. So what I'm probably gonna get going now is sand limping on back here so that he can have a little bit of a rest and give his uh, leg a chance to heal up further from where it is at the moment. So Park, if we can get you back up, buddy. Sand, we're gonna get you laying down there. Safe and sound. Now as for Park, you do have the advanced splint kit, but I honestly, I don't think we can splint our injuries here at all. His leg, I don't think it's going to get any better than where it's at at the moment. I think it might have to actually be at a certain point before he can splint it. I think it's too damaged right now for him to be able to do that. So what we're going to do instead is that he's going to go through Park, that is, and just grab all of these bits and pieces. So anything that we can really sell here, we're going to be doing. So it's going to be all of these animal teeth. And unfortunately, this is a little bit of a process to do, just to transfer them across like this. But once we've got those, we're going to be able to rock back into the little settlement here and see what we can get done. Now that should be everything, Sand. Yeah, that's everything worthwhile at the very least. We have a wooden backpack, which belongs to Hobbs. So we'll be sure to give that back to him in time. Let's go ahead get ourselves to sprinting. Now that should be sprinting, correct? <laughs> it's the fastest looking one. Let's hope that's actually the case. So let's get you over here. Hobbs, how are we doing, buddy? He's he's getting there slowly but surely. His, his chest is okay. It could be better. And as for where we're going to sell this, uh, let's go into the bar and see how much they've got left over at this stage. Let's see what the kind of pricing we can get for our goods here. It's a fellow Sheik. Rasp of all people. Okay. All right, let's see. What are we going to be able to get for this? Um, all right, sell value is 245 and their value. So we're looking pretty good here. The price markup, um, the average price. Oh, yeah, so it is It is a little bit above the average. So I'm definitely happy with that. That's some good cats for us. Um, as for these, uh, yeah, we're looking, we're looking a little less, but not that much. So we're going to go ahead and sell a lot. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's more money than we had before. Now we can potentially buy some other goods and sell them elsewhere. Trading is a thing in this, but we're not going to be doing too much trading, especially with uh, our very small amount of cats to our name. It really, really, really isn't all that much. 
And I don't think there was anything really in the uh, construction place that was going to help us out. Yeah. I mean, there's some things there that could be worth a fair bit. And, you know, I wouldn't put it past Sand potentially trying to steal some of those things. Uh, we're definitely not going to buy another sleeping bag. They're just, they're quite expensive for us right now. So we're just going to have to try and grit and bear it, really. Uh, the main thing that'll be slowing us down is Sand's leg. So we just want that thing to heal. So we're going to have to spend a little bit of time just kind of hanging out here. Now, Park, you're, you're just grabbing your chest, aren't you? Yeah. So I think once we get to a certain point, we should be able to splint. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess. So we're looking at 17. So I think once he gets above zero, we might be able to splint it up to 17. I always forget how splinting works. Let's see. A splint kit can be used to rig up wounded body parts so that it can be used again. The amount of hit points you can splint is limited by your medical skill and the quality of the kit. Yeah. So field medics of 17 would be able to do it up to 17, but I think he needs to just rest and recover that a little bit further to be able to be good to go, which is rather unfortunate. We won't be able to kick. Very, very unfortunate. So we're going to let time pass a little bit here while we're kind of waiting for this to happen. I'm probably going to try and see if I can get Sand just to do a little bit of activity around here, just so that he stays active, so that he's still training while the others are resting, just running around, just so that it actually gives him a chance to, um, you know, stay stay fit, stay active. Because I can imagine Park being one of the you know kinds of people that doesn't like to stay still for too long. And this way, it kind of gives him a chance to patrol the area and make sure that sand is going to be safe staying where he is. Uh, we did actually leave some dried meat in there. Apparently that's a, this bad habit that I've been having lately where I've been <laughs> accidentally doing that, so I'll need to check in occasionally. And speaking of checking in, we're going to have to make sure that we check in on Hobbs because we don't want him to be up there for too long. And I accidentally called him down, so um, you know what? You're out of bed, buddy. You're out of bed. Welcome back to the real world. You're going to be hanging out here with Park and let's make sure that you get something to eat. And so like I said, we're going to have a little bit of a time jump here just while we're waiting for sand to be recovered well enough. And it looks like it actually is. We can see that there is a little bit of progress on his leg there. So I don't know if Park jumped in there and did do some splinting, but he uh, he did he did something at some point there because that's essentially what we're seeing from the splint there. It's um helping the recovery process. So yeah, that's going to recover a lot faster. So before long, he's going to be back up on his feet. And we're going to be hitting the road. Okay, and the morning is upon us. It's been a bit of a rough night. We've had dust storms that have kind of been pulling through here. The sun is starting to creep beyond the horizon. And sand, thankfully, will be able to move around a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and give that backpack back to Hobbs so that he can be locked and loaded, ready to go. We're going to go ahead and give this weapon to him for now as well. Give him a little bit of an extra, well, actually in saying that. Yeah, I guess zero martial arts is better than minus six attack. It's not great. Well, that's actually a lot of that is a minus from uh, the dust storm rolling on at the stage but you know what i think for the most part hobbs is going to be in there and blocking a lot of the time <laughs> more often than not uh as for this thing here we want to go ahead and dismantle it who's going to be carrying that sand doesn't have well, sand actually has a lot of meat in his so we're going to go ahead and get park to carry that instead uh the campfire we can go ahead and dismantle that just so it's a little bit cleaner out here and we're going to go change ourselves to be running as a group just so that we're staying together we're going to be on the road. Sand still has his left leg a little injured. Uh, Park's chest isn't 100%, and Hobbs is actually looking pretty good overall. We can see that dust storm's quite bad off in the distance here. And I guess the question is, from here, from this position, where do we want to go? We can carry out on into this basin here, which is going to be taking us a little bit further north, a little bit closer to the Holy Nation. Probably not exactly what we're after, but I think maybe if we can try and stick to some of the higher areas, we'll be able to get a better idea of what's going on around us. So let's attempt to do that, and at the same time, trying to stay as aware to our surroundings as we possibly can be. 
and for the most part the way our navigation is going to be working is waiting for Hobbs to essentially recognize landmarks that he's seen before years prior. So we'll just work our way through here and we can actually see somewhere off in the distance but it doesn't seem to be somewhere that's um, active. It seems to be somewhere that's been destroyed. A ruin of sorts. And a ruin is a chance for us to get, you know, some potential gear uh, and to be able to loot it. However, they can be quite dangerous. So it's worth us being uh, very, very careful as we approach a place like that. And I think that is some activity down there. No, that's a rock. <laughs> It's a rock. And yes, we can see in the distance a rune. So we can see that we can actually pick things out with our eyes before we sometimes pick them up on the map. So it's worth us keeping our view set towards the horizon just so we have an idea of what's going on. Damn, Hobbs is nearly 100%. Discovered Admag. So maybe Hobbs was able to discover through this that uh, Admag is a little bit further on to the west. We can see something in the distance that we could probably make out of it. There we go, we can actually see a tower in the distance. It is actually loading in. Brilliant. Okay, well, let's start moving in towards us. We're gonna let it fully load up so that uh, we don't have any nasty surprises along the way. And we'll see how we're looking. Okay. He's our win way in team. And already, already I can see things. We've got some raw stone just chilling out there, some rusty chainmail which we're going to be able to make use of. Probably just running back and selling it. Uh, ooh, we can see some people roaming through here. Kral's chosen. So, I guess the question I'm asking now is, uh, are Kral's chosen going to be hostile towards us or not? We won't know that going into a place like this, but it does make me a little nervous not really knowing what their intentions might be. So I think the best course of action is going to be stealthing. Um, we'll just see which way they're going to be going. It looks like they are potentially going to bypass us. So we might be safe. Any kind of potential hostile action, we will just start running. Okay, I wasn't anticipating being able to go through here, but I will, I will take it. I will gladly take that. Okay, now that we're through here, we can have a look at some of the things. So, raw stone. Okay, so we've worked with stone a lot before. Stone isn't going to be worth all that much, and it's incredibly heavy. It takes up a lot of space in your inventory, so not exactly what we're after. Probably what we're going to want, more often than not, are fragmentation axes and planks. It's not just a plank. You'll see in a moment exactly what we're dealing with here. Uh, what's going to be the best way to get into this building? Well, it seems that everyone has a different idea of what the best way is, so we'll let them decide for themselves. And we'll just stay sneaking for now, just for our own sake. So, Fragmentation Axe, let's go ahead and have a look at it. So, Sand has one in his inventory now, or at least he should do. And there we go. So, we can see that they're these big, heady class weapons. Um, the attack bonus on them isn't great. It's because they are quite heavy. Um, it impresses the ladies, Sheik ladies mostly. So there we go, fragmentation axes. And now we have planks as well, and planks are just as large. Um, yeah, so you can see the attack bonus, not great. So you need to already have a pretty good attack to be able to, to utilize them. Uh, we're probably gonna have Sand weighing himself down a fair amount with this equipment. Uh, the water jugs, etc. I don't think we're gonna get much for water jugs. We'll have a look and see how much they are, if it's going to be worth it. You know what? 30 cats, that is worth it. Uh, so let's have a look at some of the others. Park, let's go get you to pick up that fragmentation axe. Hobbs, we're going to get you to get that water jug. Sand, have a look at the cup. The cup really can't be worth all that much, though. No. Not worth it for that. Uh, the raw iron, we can get a little bit more for that. So, worth it. And that's where, you know, mining actually can make a difference. Uh, let's see, Park, you're right by some raw iron. Go ahead and grab that. But look, we don't have to mine for that. We've just got it. Okay, so this is the first building that we've checked out. We want to go back over in the direction of where the Kral's Chosen were. At the same time, keeping our eyes out for moving friends, or rather potential enemies in this, in this case. 
Okay, so probably best to go down this way so that we can roam up towards it. Rusty Chainmail sounds nice. Okay, let's see. Rusty Chainmail, who's going to go for it? Park is going for it, and he's going right around. Okay, so I guess it's Park that we're sending in. Ah, there is a door. I see. I see how it is. And let's see, Rusty Chainmail. Oh, it's, it is actually completely usable. So obviously stealth effect isn't great, dodge skill goes down, combat speed goes down, but in saying that, it has pretty good coverage. It's 100% across your entire torso, um, and the resistances are pretty good there as well. So this is something that I would be probably wanting to chuck onto our man here. We can see we're looking, stealth goes down a fair amount as soon as we put that on. Uh, if we swap back to that for a moment. Stealth is one. Really, we're not noticing too much of a difference there, really. His dexterity goes down a little bit, but Park is generally our big heavy hitter, so we want him to be rocking those things. Everyone else has a shirt, so no one's really missing out there at this stage. Uh, we could also sell it on. That's entirely possible. We're going to take some fabric. Um, actually, Hobbs, you can stay here. Park, Hobbs, stay here. Park, you be the one to go and grab these things. Uh, raw stone we don't need. But the water jug we'll grab. Uh, let's see, damaged book. And the water jug. Take some raw iron. So the raw iron we're probably going to end up giving to our man Hobbs because he can stack it in his backpack. We're going to take those tools and we'll get these two to reconvene over here. Oh, we've been seen by someone. By who? Oh, crap. Who's here? It's Kral's Chosen. No, there's just Shek... Oh, there's just Shek Warriors from the Shek Kingdom. Okay, so we are seeing patrols from the Shek. Potentially, you know, reassuring for Park to be able to see some of his own people. Um, and plus, you know, there are relations with the Shek so far have been pretty good. So let's hope that they actually continue that way. All right, Hobbs, we're going to give you the iron to hold on to. Uh, it sounds like those water jugs actually have thing water in it. I'm going to go ahead and put everything into our packs so that we're actually lessening the weight that we have. Uh, no room for that, apparently. Lies. There's always room. There we go. We can see that those stack up, which is great. Okay. All right, team. Look at that. 100%. Hobbs is doing absolutely fine. So we don't need to sneak around this group, and I don't think we can talk to them either, so... At least reasonably sure about that. Yeah. No one that we can have a chat to. But they're, they're minding their own business. We're going to go through here and just collect a few more things. Uh, yeah, there is there is a fair amount of stuff here for us to grab. But we're going to have a tough time deciding. Uh, let's go through, grab all the raw iron to start with. Who do we have coming through over here? Kral's Chosen. So similar group to we, you know, that we saw before. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be friendly or not. I really don't. Um, the straight up water will probably be water barrels. Yeah, and that's going to be quite heavy for not a hell of a lot. So let's not worry about that. Uh, I think that is all of the metal for now. So we're going to go ahead and send Park in. He's going to go pick up the fragment axes along with some of the other bits and bobs. Fragment axe. Uh, iron plates. Tempted. Damaged book. Actually, how much are we getting for the damaged books? Uh, not really worth it. Okay, so no to the damage bugs. Damage books, rather. Grab you and the fragmentation axe. You cannot pick that up. Uh, it's because your inventory is full, my dude. So let's go ahead and give you a little bit more space in there, huh? Because you can carry these things out here. Just perfectly fine. It's a range there. It's a range there. And you're going to be able to grab some more fragment axes for us. And we'll get you to grab that plank too. There we go. You can't pick that up. That's fine. Hobbs, can you go over and get that fabric bud? And sand, let's get you to pick up the plank. You can't pick that up. I believe you can, my friend. I believe in you. Plank. Ooh, why can't you pick that up? Shouldn't be wider than what you've got there. Oh, I have just had it paused, of course. Okay, raw stone. Um, so it doesn't look like there's anything in these ones here. I lied. They're, oh, okay. Wow, this has been a really profitable day for us. If we survive here, 
we need to get out of here alive still. Uh, and the Kral's Chosen could be potentially aggressive towards us, so let's keep that in mind. So first of all, Hobbs, let's get you to go and see if you can get some of the raw iron that's around here. Uh, there as well. Just keep our eyes on them. That's some more rusty chainmail. We'll go ahead and get you to pick that up. We've got a ration pack there. That's freaking gold. Okay. How about you run back, bud? So you got rusty chainmail there. We could get you to chuck that on, just give you a little bit better survivability. Is that going to screw up other effects for you? Not really. It does minus your dex by one. But that's okay. That's a total livable amount. Okay, so we're going to go in for the planks. The armor placing, we're probably going to get uh, Hobbs to pick that up as well. Let's have a look at that rusty chainmail. Uh, so this is a, a decent grade. Uh, we are unable to pick it up, I think. Nope, we've grabbed it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is high grade. Very nice. Stealth effect. It does affect our stealth with your amount, so... How, how negatively is that going to affect it? By a fair amount. Well, everything that we've got on at the moment. If we were to do a proper stealth, I would take everything off, but I feel pretty good about that. Uh, so the armor placing, let's see if it's going to be possible for you to grab that Hobbs. Okay, Sand, we're going to get you out of sneak. There's still some planks and fragmentation axes I'd like you to grab. Let's get you to grab that one there. You cannot pick that up. Yeah, you actually can't. You can fit one more in there. He is incredibly laden now. We've got a lot in there. Okay, what about you, Park? How can we make this work for you, buddy? Uh, yeah, not gonna be able to. Um, okay, so we need to kind of weigh up our costs at this stage. Like, what's gonna be worth holding on to? Probably not gonna be worth holding on to one of those shirts. Let's just see cloth shirt, how much you're really worth. You're actually worth an okay amount. Um, hmm. Iron plates, we could just drop you for now. Shuffle things around a little bit here. Rearrange those. Uh, we could just actually go put them up here. And that means you can grab two more. So, park, plank. Two planks, because the planks are going to be worth a little bit more. Um... I don't know if I always saw that bounty there. Or if I only just noticed it now. Theft, assault, escaping prison. Yeah, I don't know if I noticed that before. Hmm. Okay, Hobbs, can you... I don't think you can actually fit that. But you can carry it in your hands. So we'll get you to do that park. Let's get you running back. Now, I have been saying I think that's all there is. I actually think that's all there is now. So we're going to be ready to attempt to run back home. Uh, did I grab that armor placing in the end? I, yes, we did. We did. And that's worth a lot more. Wow. Okay. So, we are going to be quite encumbered as we start trying to make our way back to where we came from. Which is going to be off in that direction there. So, back up into the hills. Away from here. And hopefully not getting, you know, incredibly noticed in the process. You can see that we are just walking now and it's because what we're carrying is so damn heavy. If we do get stopped by anyone or if uh, we start getting chased by animals, we are just going to have to drop our packs and run for our lives. But if all goes well here, we'll be looking quite good. Got a copper resource there. Good to know. Okay. So should just be back up into these hills. Uh, n yes, way station. Way station is where we're going. Or, you know, a way station. Didn't have an exact name. So we start to roam. And this has been a successful day, and this has been an entire day of it. We, we, you know, went out to these ruins at the very start of the day. So we have been going through them the whole duration of this day. We've got some interesting fog off in that distance there. Kind of seems to be maybe around here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's be careful. So, roaming up on the hills. We see movement. We see the way station in the distance, but between the way station 
and us, we see these horrific looking things. Skin spiders roaming across this area, making some horrible hissing noises. We don't want those things to see us. We really don't. So let's try and plot our course so that they don't see us. Let's also go stealth so that they don't see us. We're just going to let them roam past, which they're doing. Just keep on going your way. And then as soon as I think we're safe, we're going to start moving faster. Like so. <laughs> and just make our way across here. Yeah, a little bit of a close call. But it's just a good thing that we noticed them. The second that you see any kind of movement in Kenshi, you're going to want to get paused and think about your next few decisions very, very carefully. Especially at this stage of the game. Um, the only other character that I've really run with in Kenshi before was a lone swordsman type. Uh, so someone that was completely by themselves. Wow, Vope, you are incredible. 53. Well, incredible compared to us. Dexterity is really good as well. I'm pretty sure that uh, Vope is a skeleton of the tech hunters. Just roaming out here by yourself. There we go. I'm going to chalk that up to being a very, very successful day. We've still got heaps of food left at this stage. All in all, not bloody bad. Uh, and I think that we are... We've kind of just missed the construction for selling. Ooh, that's probably a trade caravan out there. Uh, so it's going to be the bar that we'll be selling our goods to. In we go. Our bag's full of goods. Alright team, let's start selling. We're going to start with sand. Alright. These are our goods. Uh, right, sell value. Okay. Not bad. 300. 200. 300. Yeah, this is, this is good. This has been a good haul for us. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to want to hold on to any of them. So, I'm going to go ahead and start selling. Not bad. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of you. And we're going to get rid of you as well. Excellent. Sand, you can go stand over there. Park. Have a chat. Okay, we're selling off some more goods. We can see our amount, the money that we have, just going way, way up. Super happy with that. 6,000. Ruins. It's the way to go. Especially for our team. They'd be damn, damn happy with this. Hobbs, go ahead and have a chat. Okay, we're going to go ahead and sell off the iron to start with. We can see that the price markup is pretty good. Not bad. Sell off their water. Uh, the ration pack, it looks like he's already been tapping into that a little bit. That's fine. And this is where we're going to make even more. Super happy with that. 8,000. Great. That's really good. That's just really, really good. Now, we could potentially go to the construction store here and get some construction supplies and start making something for ourselves. Making, making a life. Or, or trying to, but I don't know if that's the right call for us at this stage of our adventure as a as a team. We definitely want to be spending when we can um, to essentially help improve ourselves. I mean, like we're close to that ten thousand that we needed to be able to join the Shinobi Thieves back at the uh, at the hub. But I think the direction that we're going to want to try and go into tonight is Admag. We are going to be roaming as a group, as a team. And I'm pretty sure I just heard bone dogs uh, calling. I mean, it could have been my imagination, but I'm pretty sure I heard some bone dogs doing their thing. I can't see any. Oh, I guess we're okay then. <laughs> yeah, definitely famous last words. Well... We'll make the most of the of the darkness as we start to try and make our way over towards Admag. <sighs> Again, not hugely sure what to expect. And oh, we have got some kind of encounter here. Not sure what it was, but it was one of these uh, one of these groups here. Caravan guard from the Traders Guild. 
Okay, and it looks like they attacked a skin spider, which is currently unconscious. So if we're quick, we're quick on our feet, we can get over towards where that skin spider is. Uh, for one, make sure that it stays dead. And two, have a chat to them. Who are you? Are you just a Sheik warrior wandering about? Um, are we going to get to this thing in time? Uh, yeah, easily, easily. And sand, wow, sand is fast. Okay, uh, right, looks like they already have taken things from it. So we're just going to go ahead and take those animal claws. Uh, and unfortunately, poor Hobbs is nowhere near as fast as the rest of them. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at some serious speed on these two. On Hobbs, not so much. We want to see if we can talk to these people. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Let's go ahead and have a chat. The Traders Guild. You guys would be nice, right? Yeah. Freshly stocked up on supplies if you need anything, Outlander. Show me what you got. Okay, what do you got? You've got some food. Okay, the value is very, very expensive. Very expensive uh, for food cubes and, and rations in general, but um, pretty nutrient dense. Uh, we're not going to really want to sell anything here. You know what? No, we can sell these. Uh, the shopkeeper can't afford that. Of course you can't, because you don't actually have anything. Uh, we're a little low on medical supplies, so it could be worth us... Hmm, they've marked up the price a little bit here. Yeah, you know what, we'll just we'll buy one for now. That's fine. We can offset the cost a little bit here. That's good. That seems like a deal to me. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate the trade. Alright, let's get the three of our team back together and we'll get them running at a joint speed we can also walk like this so you can kind of have two different fashions and in, in how you walk you can walk like a caravan like that or like a more of like a, a kind of military group so we'll just get them to join back up and head off in that direction i'm pretty sure it was just over over that way is that we're wanting to do wanting to go and ideally we'll get there just as the sun is starting to rise so far, so good. And hey, if things go really bad, we can kind of run back towards um, the trade caravan that we've got up there, giving us a little bit better of a chance to make it. But um, seeing the skin spiders is putting me on edge a little bit. Three skin spiders will very easily tear through R3. Uh, one could quite easily tear through R3. And skin spiders will eat you. Uh, we've discovered the Great Fortress. Ooh, the Great Fortress. And that is to our southwest. And that's off in that direction there. The Great Fortress. But we can see Admag up here. And it seems like quite the settlement. But our question's gonna be, as we start to get close to it, what kind of settlement is it? We can see some flags, some kind of regalia off in the distance. What kind of regalia is that? Um, that's the police. It's the Atmag police. Uh, but what kind of police? Many questions. Many questions. More police? Okay. Well, we'll, we'll keep going for now until we <laughs> either discover that this is a city of the holy nation or not now i think we can figure that out on the map if we just hover over the icon but i find it to be a little bit more interesting if we end up getting a lot closer we know that the holy nation has been encroaching into sheik territories a fair amount we've got some more skin spiders so just getting a look at the walls and and seeing who's around here might give us an idea of exactly uh who we might be dealing with here uh, Static Guard, the Five Invincibles of the Sheik Kingdom. Fantastic. Okay, alright, now, how are we going to get up here? Where is the main entrance? There's an entrance here, but for us to go through that, we're going to have to go past some skin spiders, I think. Now, they're going off to the side now, so we might be able to time this right. And that we can. That we can. We're looking pretty much fully healed now. <laughs> and that's, uh... That's not going to last for long. I'm relatively sure that we don't have any illegal goods on us. 
but we'll find out soon enough because the guards will more than likely want to uh, inspect us but yeah we got the shack and they are looking intimidating as ever a girl without enemies is a victim who bends to others okay Himf whatever your business is here make it quick flat skin yeah okay we're going to try and make it quick so obviously to them we are flat skins uh park yeah see park doesn't know too much about his culture having grown up very much like sand and rebirth so a lot of that culture is shared between them it's it's more of the culture of of the slaves and rebirth uh so we've got a store here right away where we're going to be able to buy weapons so let's go get friendly with the store owner see what's what looks like hobbs wants to go and have a chat hmm. let's see what they have so a whole heap of planks uh it's what they deal in for the most part we've got falling sun here uh does good damage against very large creatures some higher level um, fragmentation axes. We can see that the damage increases a fair amount as well. We've got 1.73 on these here. Cutting damage is up there. And then we've got cleavers. Cleavers have armor penetration on them. Good damage versus robots, but still, uh, you know, a bit of... Only really penalty to using them indoors. So outdoors, they're still really, really decent weapons, but they're very expensive weapons. More so than what we're going to be able to afford. But uh, that's just the first store. We're going to have a look around the rest of the place here. There is a armorer. Uh, we obviously have the police here. This is a general market. Okay, we've got a bar and we've got another bar here as well. And then we've got uh, a faction HQ. Might be worth us going into the faction HQ and just kind of checking in, letting ourselves uh, kind of be known to them. Yeah, let's do that. And then we've kind of got the explorer's shop down there as well. Uh, I am definitely going to be intrigued to see what they've got going on in the armor shop. Generally, the Sheik have some great armor available to them. Uh, we can't go too much into like the heavy armor side of things at this stage. Generally, you can't really get anything that's too heavy while you aren't very good at attacking. Yeah. Hobbs, you're a little bit further behind. That's fine. Go ahead and speed up some time. Uh, there's a chance that we might be able to use the training dummies here. Get up our skill a little bit more. Whether or not they let us use them, that uh, kind of remains to be seen. So, let's see. Is there anyone we can actually talk to in here? We've got someone in the corner there that we can talk to. Okay. And, yeah. Okay, just the one. But not a bad building. I like it. Well, Sand, how about you go and have yourself a chat here? Oh. Alright, well, that didn't that didn't go so well. Oh, over here, outsider. Okay, right, we're talking to you then. Ah, Bayon. The stone golem saves her energies for the art of combat, not the art of gum flapping, as my lady describes it. That is why I am here. What do you want, outsider? Make it quick. I am a busy man. I wanted to propose an alliance to seek some kind of protection. An alliance, you say? Hmm. The Shek do not need help. They win their battles by their own sword, or they don't win them at all. It is one or the other. In the Shek Kingdom, alliances are not handed out to nobodies like Sake in the Swamp. Ooh, this is where it gets tough. There are options here. Now, we don't know who Bugmaster is or who the Bugmaster is. We know who the Phoenix is. The Phoenix is the Emperor, the leader of the Holy Nation. That is something that we probably want to do eventually, but not something that we can do without allies. We need allies to be able to achieve these great things. We don't know much about a berserker problem yet either, and so at this stage, well, we could perhaps offer some funds. How does that sound? Funds. Everyone needs them. We've got some. Or, or not then. What if... 
What if I kill the phoenix for you? It's not easy. But it's my goal. Hmm. Amusing. I dare you to bring him to me. Kill the phoenix, or the bug master for that matter, and I'll sing your praise until death takes me to the other side. What about berserkers? Got an old man traveling with me. He's mentioned them before. Futility. You think the stone golem needs help dealing with lost kin? Let them do what they will. It is our business. Next question, Outlander. Forget I ever asked. I've got other questions. Hmm. The stone golem was right. You outsiders do talk too much. I hate to ask, but... Your horns. What happened to them? Ah. Uh, my horn's really that important to you, outsider. I'm just curious, the sheik. in mighty warriors, and, well, I've seen the practice done before. They were lost. I lost. Cursed tradition. Death is the easy path. I stand and face the consequences of defeat, rather than cutting my shame short. I chose not to abandon the kingdom's cause of my own selfish preservation of honor. And because of that, I am alive to fulfill my purpose. To serve the stone golem. So, are you done with the senseless questions, outsider? I'm done. Peace and quiet. Ah, there we go. We understand a little bit more about the Sheik and what they're kind of going through at the moment. I believe that was, yeah, Estata, the stone golem that we tried to talk to before. Look at that attack and defense. She is uh, worthy of such a name. And we can see by the length of her horns as well that she's been around for a while and, well is quite a badass. Now Park does have horns of his own but uh, they are a little shorter than some of the others around here. He's not the oldest uh, Sheik around but yeah there we go. We, we know a little bit more. Uh, whether we'll be able to pull off any of those I have no idea. Uh, also, I have no idea whether or not they would allow us to use these training dummies here. It's worth us having a try and seeing if they get upset with us using them. If they do, then we'll back off or accept that that's the case. But let's just see. Uh, yeah, hands off the equipment. So uh, yeah, we will take our hands off the equipment. We don't want to piss them off. Uh, Sand does want to train, but uh, we're not going to be able to do it here. Not until we can kind of prove ourselves to the Sheik. And that's not an easy task. With what they want us to do, that's going to take some serious efforts. I mean, as Sand, we don't even know where the Phoenix is, where the Phoenix resides. For us to pull something off like that would not be easy. The way I could imagine Sand doing something like that is perhaps through assassination. Being able to sneak into where the Phoenix might be, take them out that way. The Bugmaster, however, the Bugmaster we know nothing of. Just probably rumors and well, some of the stories that Hob has, uh, Hobbs has shared with us so far. But we've got some more stores. We've got a little bit left to explore here. And I'm pretty sure that, yeah, it's going to be police all the way along here. We do have the Shinobi Thieves again, though. Hmm. See, now that's tempting. If we have 10,000, they will accept us into their order. It's a lot. But we aren't that far off. It's potentially doable. We'd need to earn a little bit more before we're able to do that, but um, it's, the potential is there. Let's go inside here to start with and just see what we can find stashed away in the armorers. See what we can make of it. Okay, you're just chilling. Looking for something? Well, perhaps we are. At the very least, we can sell that other uh, animal tooth that we picked up. 
let's go ahead and sell you. And yeah, we can see some really, really nice sets of armor. Uh, some of it not, you know, crazily ex expensive. I mean, some of it is crazily expensive, others not so much. Now, if we were able to steal some of this, we would be, we'd be very well off. I mean, for one, you can sell these things on, but see, this is the thing. I, I think the Sheik especially, knowing the position that they're in and that they are facing the Holy Nation, Sand wouldn't steal from them for profit. He might steal from them to be able to better outfit himself and his companions. But he wouldn't steal for profit. He'd only steal what's necessary. Because uh, buying this stuff, it, it, that ain't ever going to happen. Uh, for the most part, we'd probably end up looking at light armor. For the most part. I mean, even the leather pants here, they're not crazily expensive. But still, if we're willing to try and save up to join the shinobi thieves that's not something that's going to happen without us uh heading back out trying to claim more from the surrounding landscape we have seen another place off in the distance great fortress a great fortress of some kind and well maybe that'll be worth us having a look at to see if we can find anything else it could still be completely intact or it might be uh, suffering somewhat it looks like we've got some nomads rocking around here they do have a bone dog and they have some goats now they there is a chance that they could actually have a bone dog for sale and while we are trying to make money right now a bone dog especially one that's uh, kind of grown to be full size can be quite a decent ally and they come cheaper than hiring people at bars so let's see we can we can have a talk here so sand how about you go have a chat with this uh nomad we have okay ah our bounty's gone down or at least in this area that's what our bounty is ah let's see Ho oh, there townie i have animals for sale carry your stuff for you fight alongside you make a good meal they do okay show me what you have let's see what they have they have a bone dog and it's not crazily expensive it is a pup uh, it's it's a bit of an investment but this could well be worth it we're gonna go ahead and buy and well we can name our bone dog what are we going to name our bone dog? Well, hmm. Just because. And so now we have dog meat. Dog meat is going to be joining us. And well, let's hope that dog meat is going to be able to make it. He is just a little pup at this stage. We can see that he doesn't have any skills. That'll change in time. That'll change in time. And I think I can get you to bodyguard. So he's going to stay close to sand at all times. He's going to be a companion of him. And, well, I just hope the poor little bugger can make it. Because, generally, they don't have the longest lifespans in these games. And they can, they can go down quite quickly. We can see that right now he isn't built, uh, m you know, much stronger than us. He will be when he gets older but getting him older can can take a fair bit so let's see the great fortress is to the south so that's not the way we want to go we want to go along this way so we're going to start their journey and see what we can find along the way i think we've got another tech hunter there no just a, a roaming sheik warrior okay so moving south we are across this wide open space looks like good another group roaming along here uh, and yeah, that's a that's a drone caravan. Okay, there's some hivers, and oh, we are hearing screaming in the distance. We're hearing the sounds of combat, and what do we see? We see uh, we see berserkers. The people we were talking about before, 
Now, the Berserkers are hostile to pretty much all outsiders. We can see here that they were trying to fight a Skin Spider, who is currently critical. The Skin Spider, I think we could probably take care of. Uh, the Berserkers, not so much. This is something that we probably would want to avoid. But let's get closer, because, well, we like to live dangerously. Because uh, there's a chance that we might be able to actually capture some of these Berserkers. Uh, their wounds are such that we might be able to take them down. One or two good hits could be enough to do it. So looking at the at our three, this, this could be a terrible, terrible mistake. We've got them all running, uh, rather we should have them all running full speed. Just make sure that everyone is on full speed. Dog meat, yep, same for you. Okay, let's see. We want to go for one that's a little bit more injured. Perhaps the one that is actually doing the healing here. We want to go ahead and attack unprovoked. I want to see if we can uh, lure them over. We've just got two here. Uh, this, uh, the other group there might be coming back at this stage. Let's just kind of uh, play things safe. And see what they're going to do because I think their, con yeah, their condition's a lot better. We do not want to go in a fight against them while they're like that. I think we... Mm, yeah, they're just coming back to heal the others. Yeah. We need to play that very, 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 very carefully. It might just be that we'll go, we'll end up going around. And that's what we'll do for now. We're going to have to change everyone to essentially running together. We might be able to pick up one lone berserker by themselves. This one here that's quite injured. If we can attack them unprovoked, get their attention without gaining the attention of the others, that could work out for us. Now, Hobbs, I'm going to take you off block. Oh, are you rocking? I did not see that you had that in your inventory, buddy. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's going to be a great weapon for you. Uh, you know, if it hits, it'll do damage. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the Iron Club is going to be a lot better for you, dude. Um, oh, you can't hold on to that, can you? Let's see, we'll go ahead and put that back around. Yeah, you, you, you can use whatever the hell you want to use. Uh, Park and Sand, we'll get you to hang back. Nah, we're not going to be able to antagonize them. So let's not do that. They definitely are the Berserkers that they were talking about. Dressed in red. Uh, they kind of are m more of a gang. Oh, great, they're going exactly the way that we want to go. Towards the Great Fortress. That's really dangerous. Too dangerous, in fact. Now, there's no remains here. Are we looking at any remains over here? We've just got the skin spider. Is it just still unconscious? Oh no, it's dead. It's straight up dead. Well, we can go ahead and pick through the uh, remains. See what we've got. Uh, we do have a berserker here though. And another skin spider. Okay, so the berserker here who's unconscious, we're gonna go ahead and capture you. Because we're gonna bring you back. Let's go ahead and pick you up. We'll also see uh, exactly what they have on them. Uh, okay, I guess we have to put you down first to be able to loot you. We're gonna go ahead and loot, and yeah, we've got a fragmentation axe. Go ahead and chuck you there. Bandana, it's shoddy. And we've got an armored rag skirt. Not bad, athletics effect goes down a little bit here, but we're trying to get our man a little bit more heavily armored, so. Yeah, we'll get him decked out in that. Alright, Park, go ahead and pick him up. Get him on. Okay, as for the others, let's see. Uh, yep, we've got two that we can grab from you, and we should have two that we can grab from another. They took down two skin spiders, so they're, they are very tough. And I've forgotten to put all that meat into our bag. My bad. Okay. Alright, joining up together. 
We're going to have a quick look around the area here just to make sure that I'm not missing anyone that might be lying down. No. That looks like the lot. So with that, I think the safest thing for us to do right now is to continue roaming on back because, uh, well actually, he is quite far away from the others. We might be able to get him. It's entirely possible. How injured is he? He's quite injured. All we need is one good hit. I'm actually just going to send sand in. Sand, let's get you moving at full speed. Is that really your full speed, bud? Because you can usually run quite fast while sneaking. Let's get this group down here. Oh, dog meat, you're sticking with them. Oh, it could be that that's the reason why. Let's put you on your fastest. And sand, let's get you sneaking again. See if that's going to work. No, you, sn you slow right down. Okay. Okay, there's no point in us putting everyone in danger here. So let's get a little closer. Okay, so we've got a 0% chance to knock this guy out. I mean, we might as well try. It's the only way you can get better at something. Okay, we failed. Sneak over. Go ahead and back the hell up, stand. Okay. Not such a good hit to start. Dogmeat is also engaging. Let's make sure that the others are not going to be engaging. Where are they? Where are the other berserkers right now? I can't see them, so that's a good sign. Sand, all you need to do is get in one good hit here, bud. Don't know why you're uh, facing away. Let's just go attack target. Okay, oof. All you need is one good hit, bud. I know you're up against the berserker here. Come on, dude. Dogmeat's gonna come and help out. Here we go, we got a block. There we go, we got a hit. And sand's down. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, okay, Park. Time for you to save the day. Dogmeat, oh, dogmeat, no. Oh, buddy. <laughs> All right, sand, sand is getting back up, though. All right, he's getting back up. Park, I feel like we could probably do with putting that guy down. Uh, question will be, is he gonna wake up before you do? He's in a recovery coma, so you, you should be safe to put him down. Hobbs is just gonna hand, hang back for now. Park is gonna go, start doing, start doing work here. Dogmeat, are you gonna survive? You're unconscious, you're not gonna die. Okay. Hobbs coming in with a big swing. Okay, all of us against one injured berserker. Who will win? That's the question. <laughs> okay, not so great. All we need is one good hit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on team. Come on team. All we need is just one hit on the chest. That's it. One hit on the chest. Oh, come on, buddy. Park, I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you, bud. You got 23 fight. The Berserker probably still is looking pretty good. No, Berserker's 23 fight. We've got 17 here. Hobbs coming in with a massive swing. I really want to take that weapon away from him. Uh, I'm trying to remember how I can actually get him to swap out. I don't think I can. We're just going to get you to drop that for now, bud. <laughs> My dude. Come on, Park. Here we go. And downed. And Park. Park, I don't know why you've decided to start doing that. Come on, buddy. Come on, Park. I believe in you. I believe in you. Just one good strike. Hobbs is getting back up. Okay, Hobbs, I think I want to swap you back into martial arts mode. Give you a little bit better of a chance. He's downed. Come on, team. One good shot on the chest, that's it. I don't know if it's going to happen. This is what combat, low level, is in Kenshi. It's Sheik versus Sheik. Who will win? We'll be left here to slowly bleed out. Or will Park be victorious? We'll find out soon. Come on, buddy. One good hit. That's all we're asking for here. One good hit. Come on, dude. 
completely unarmored chest, I'm pretty sure, here. So... I, I, but Park's gonna go down. His, he, he just keeps on getting hit in the chest. We haven't hit the chest once. I can't believe it. He's down. He's absolutely down. And I... He's gonna get back up. But she's already first dating. Park's playing dead right now. That might be the right call. <sighs> because all it's going to take is just one more moment for him to go down. But you know what? We ain't going to be playing dead for long. He's getting back up. Hobbs is in a recovery coma. He's going to be down. Yep, he's going to get back up. Park, see if you can heal yourself quickly. You're pretty good with your first aid. All we need is one solid shot. And this berserker will be down. Come on, dude. I believe in you. I believe in you. Here we go. Here we go. This is the moment. And you know what? I should have done this a long time ago to give you a proper chance. Let's get you to drop all that stuff. It's going to improve your fight by a lot. Oof. Come on, dude. Good block. I mean, he's learning. He's certainly getting better. But this is a berserker after all. Come on. One good strike, Park. It ain't gonna happen. That berserker's gonna limp away. Oh, and that one... That one ended getting, getting back up? Or is that another one? Did they come back? No, they they came back. The other berserkers. Well, I guess it's for the best. But Park is unconscious. He's going to be unconscious for a little bit longer. No one, no one is in danger of dying right now. But we are all in a very, very bad condition. Uh, there is a chance that Park is going to be able to get back up, and that he can, and we will. We're going to get him rocking that medic. Go grab that stuff, bud. We need you grabbing all of those. Okay. He's got everything. He's gonna be going to work. Patching up dog meat. Patching up the others. Yikes. That, uh... It wasn't easy. Hobbs, you're looking okay. You're in a recovery coma. Uh, this bloke here is in recovery coma as well, so I think for now we're going to have to deploy our bag. We're right along a, a point where we're going to have people coming by relatively frequently, so it's dangerous as all hell. Let's see, who's the closest to being able to get back up again? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a while to your back up. Okay, alright, Sand is the next closest, so we're going to go ahead and pick up our man Sand. Drop him in the bed. Oh, rough. Super friggin' rough. And we're gonna have to pick this guy back up. Reason being, if we don't, we're gonna run into trouble. And uh, we're already running into trouble. Berserkers are just roaming on past us. He's trying to get back towards the leader. So, we have one. One that we did not f defeat ourselves. <laughs> we picked him up after he was finished off by a spider. Yeah. It's a tough life. It is a tough life. But it's one that we're still learning to live in this rough, rough world. Thank you all for joining me for another episode of Kenshi. Now, I know I did promise that we were going to be looking at two episodes a week. That is more than likely going to be taking off in the following week. Some of you will know through updates that I had a little bit of dental work done, which completely threw out my schedule, so I've been behind on a lot of things. That and Zealand is returning this weekend as well, so there's a fair bit of prep that goes towards getting that up and running once again. But that has been us for today's episode. An episode of highs and lows. We did make a fair amount of cats, which was a really, really good thing for our team, but we were also defeated by the berserkers that we were attempting to defeat ourselves. Not going after them, going after the weakest. Yes, it's not honorable, 
but, well, honour will not keep you alive in the world of Kenshi. If we are to prove ourselves to the Sheik, it will have to be done with our smarts, rather than just straight up brawn, because, well, it ain't gonna work. But thank you for joining me all the same. I've been Rykon, you have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.